Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to capture RAM from uh, memory forensics using the tool from Magnet Forensics called RAM Capture. So I will fire up a Windows 10 computer with 4 gigabytes of RAM and then let us uh, capture the RAM for investigation using memory forensics. But in this tutorial, I'm going to only show you how to capture the the, the the random access memory basically for forensic investigation so that you can be able to see if ever you are doing the the memory forensics because they are very important so that you can you can see what tools and what techniques you can be able to use for that so for now let's fire up the the uh, virtual box on my linux machine so from there um we will be let me check um virtual box let me fire up virtual virtual box so that we can be able to come up with the um, uh, windows 10 machine and i have got that uh, software from uh, magnet forensics and i'm going to show you while this windows is still booting so that you can see the website where you can get the 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 software so for now let me go to uh, magnet magnet forensics so that you can see magnet ram capture you can find it via google and then come up here so that you can be able to find the the free software so that you can be able to use for for memory forensics so let me check yes okay you can see that um maybe it takes too long maybe my internet is very slow but this is the, the website where you can actually get uh, the the software so for now let me wait a while while this is still booting so that we can be able to see how we can capture the memory for forensic analysis so let me open this up Sorry. So for now, let let us capture the the memory. I've got the software inside my flash drive, so downloading it is not a big problem. So for now, you can be able to to see how to get the software from your flash drive. So here it is. I have it on my desktop. It's a portable software. Remember, so you can use it as a portable software without installing it. You just click you just uh, double click so after double clicking it will launch so that you can capture the random access memory here so for now let me just double click so after that so that we can be able to see what uh, has to happen here right now um, this is save RAM capture too so let's see where to save the RAM capture. Seems like it's taking too long time. <coughs> but okay, so maybe let's save this uh, into my documents so that we can be able to see what we are going to do so we will leave it as dot raw because it can be analyzed by as many uh as many forensic tools as possible so let's rename it like um 4gb 
uh, 4 GB RAM Windows 10 <coughs> so it will be like that so let's click save and then thereafter let's click start so this is like capturing the random access memory for for forensic uh, investigation some of the tools that we will be using for for memory forensics include but not limited to volatility uh, volatility with uh, GUI as well as the red line but I like volatility in terms of uh, the deepest parts of the, the 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 RAM that it can be able to dig so that you can uh, gather the different uh, forensic artifacts and uh, as well as the behavioral analysis of um, of a of a file or a, of a malware inside the the random access memory because we know that we we do memory forensics in order to investigate what was happening when the computer when the target computer was still running or if if the computer is a victim so that we can actually see what was actually taking place so for now let us um wait until it gets to 100 percent so that we can be able to see um the image of the of the ram so this software i actually prefer it as opposed to the other uh, software that needs to be installed on the hard drive so this one you just click and then it pops up everything is fine so it will not waste your time or let's say a malware uh, it, it replicates itself on the um, on the on the installed software so sometimes it might be it might be hard for the malware to infect your 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 files from the flash drive during the during the the time you during the time you you just insert your flash drive on the port so then we have this magnet ram capture working for us so let's wait and then see what is taking place here. So let's wait a little bit so that we can finish because I don't want to cut this video so um, so that we can be able to, to see what is actually going on here. Okay, right so now it is successfully saved to the directory that we ordered it to save it to so because of that we we shall be able to to see the image if uh, on my documents uh, let's see all right so let's go to file explorer by opening the new folder no problem let me okay so all right so let's go to um, let's go to uh, documents and then see the image so we can see this raw file or the raw image that can be used in the in the kali linux for investigation or in parrot OS or any other linux distro so basically we do this if ever we are affected by malware or we suspect that 
a computers committed a certain cyber crime so that we can see the list of the processes that were taking place inside the inside the the victim or the target machine so if you like this tutorial please share and subscribe as well as comment so that uh, it, it will be like pushing a youtube algorithm if you like my content then that makes me make more content thank you guys for watching